So now we have to look at the second column and compare each value in that column besides the top row because we established that that one's fine. Now I have to look at the second, third, and fourth row. So we check that value, which is 0 0.002. We divide it by its S2 value. And that's 0 0.1. We do the same for the next one, which is minus 0 0.004 divided by that S3 value. And that's also 0 0.1. And likewise with the third one, um, it's just 0 divided by a certain value, which should still be equal to 0. The value here is 0 0.1, but yeah, it should still be equal to 0. Uh, let's do that. And then we compare which one is the biggest. Uh, we take absolute values to compare them with. So this is our largest value. So neglect the negative sign. The largest value being 0 0.04 equates to the third row being bigger than the second row, which means that we'll have to swap these two rows. So E3 gets interchanged with equation 2. Let's do that. Let me do that on this page so I can still see it. So the new matrix then becomes... Now there's a new M, let's call it M5 and use equation 2. So our M in this case, since we have to take equation 2 and make that one, which means we have to divide by minus 0 0.004 and multiply by that value which is 0 0.002. And that gives us, I think it's half, should be minus 0 0.5. Well, let's calculate that. Minus 0 0.5. Which means that our equation 3. We have equation 1. And our equation 3 changes, this value becomes 0. Let's calculate the next value. Equation 3 minus 0. Point. What we need to do again is find that scaled value. And our last row is larger than the third row, so we're going to swap these two. E4 and E3 into changes. Then we can take the fourth equation, subtract it with the third equation.
And that is a uh, Gaussian matrix. I'm gonna write it down here so I can get the solutions. Substitution gives us the answer. So we have x4 equals 0 0.065 divided by 0 0.04. Now we'll get that and x3 will be equal to 0 0.08 minus 0 0.05 x3, x4, sorry, x4 divided by and 0 0.02 mm -hmm. x probably need space for that so let's calculate x4 So here are values for x1, x2, x3, x4 using scaled partial pivoting and since we found them in the second decimal place, say x1 is 3.02. X2 is minus 0 0.09. X3 is approximately, these are all approximations, sorry. Approximately 0 0.06. And X4 is approximately. 1.63 and that's it um it's an example of scaled partial pivoting i hope it helped bye